Hello and welcome to Practice Better's video on the medication and supplement tracker. In this video, we'll go over adding and updating a client's supplement and medication history, how you can collect this information in a form, and how you can add supplements from recommendations you create in a protocol. Let's get started by jumping into a client's record. We'll go to My Clients and then we're going to jump into the medical history section of their client record. Once you've scrolled down, you'll see the medication history and supplement history tables. To update these tables, you can click the add medication button next to the medication history. Here you can type in the name of the product and if you're located in Canada or the US, you can search the integrated databases for products from that respective database. If you don't see a product that matches, you can type in the full name of the medication. Then you can set the start date. And if it's an ongoing medication, you can keep this box checked or uncheck it to add an end date. Lastly, you'll need to enter the dosage information as well as any additional directions that were included with this medication. Then make sure to save and then save changes in the top right to make sure these changes are saved. Then once you scroll down, you'll see this information updated in the medication history table. If you'd like to add supplements as well to the supplement history, you can click the Add Supplement button. When adding supplements, you can first choose which database of supplements you're looking through. If you have Fullscript or Wholescript's link, you'll also see their catalogs from which you can choose from. You can then just type in the name of the supplement you're looking for and search. If a supplement matching your search is found, you'll have the option to view details next to it to find out more information on that supplement. If you don't find what you're looking for, you can click skip or select one of the supplements from the list and then select next. Then you just need to add the supplement dosage details similar to what you'd see in a protocol. Please ensure you save and then save changes again in the top right. Now when you scroll down, you'll see your medication and supplement history. You can easily see the start and end dates as well as if this is an ongoing medication or if it has ended. You can also click the pencil icon to make any changes or click the trash can icon to delete this. After you've made any edits, please ensure you save your changes and then you'll see a new section called notes where if there's any additional directions given in the supplement recommendation, you'll see those listed here and you can collapse or click on the notes to view more information. Now let's save changes and take a look at how we can collect this information in a form. We'll go to my practice forms and waivers. You can create a brand new form to collect this information or you can edit an existing form and add the medication history and supplement history form elements. Let's click edit next to my intake questionnaire. On the right hand side, I'll see a list of different tools I can use and I'll see in the bottom right, I'll have medication history as well as supplement history. I can click and drag any one of these questions to the top of the form or just click on the icon to add it to the end of my form. I'll start by giving this a name. Then I can choose to check or uncheck any of these boxes to collect more information on the type of supplement my clients are taking. Once I hit done, I'll be able to see a preview of what this will look like to clients when they go and complete this form. I can then repeat this process for the medication history. Then I just need to ensure I save changes in the top right and if I want to preview what this looks like, I can click the three dots next to my questionnaire and click preview. I'll see clients can click on add medication or add supplements and they can easily enter in the product information. You'll notice that there's an option to choose between Canada and the United States, similar to what you saw when you entered these medications and supplements into the client's record. Depending on the option the clients choose, they'll see different results based on the types of products they search. 
If they find a matching product, they can choose that option or just type in the name of the product. Then they'll just need to fill in the dosage information. Then if there's any additional medication they want to enter, they can click the add medication option. Then they'll just need to repeat this process for any supplements that they've taken. Clients type in the name of the product, they'll see a list of associated items that match their search query. They can choose any one of these options or just keep the name of the product that they typed in. Then they'll just need to enter their dosage information similar to what they did with their medication history. Then the clients can just continue with the rest of the form and save and submit their answers. Once submitted, you'll be able to see these forms in their forms and waivers section, or if you set up form mapping, you can review this in their medical history. Now let's jump into the forms and waivers section so we can go over how to adjust mapping for these new form elements. You can go to my practice and then forms and waivers. And then underneath mappings and settings, you'll see the option to add another. If you added these new form elements to a brand new form, or if you added these to an existing form, you can click edit next to the mapping you've set up for that existing form. If you click edit, you'll see a list of previous questions you have mapped and you can click add mapping to add these new questions. When you choose the medical history and supplement history questions, you'll see that the only destination is that specific section within the client's record. Next, you'll just need to ensure you have an automation set up to map these completed form answers into the client's record using the mapping you just set up. You can do this by going to My Practice, Automations. Then you can click the red fast action button in the bottom right corner and choose to import completed forms into a client's file. Then you just need to give the automation a name and choose a form and an applicable mapping and just click create in the top right corner. Now, anytime a client completes this form, those form answers will be mapped directly into that medical history section of the client's record. Lastly, we can now look at our protocol templates to see how we can make supplement recommendations from that protocol. To do this, go to My Practice Protocol Templates. Then, you can click the red fast action button in the bottom right corner to create a brand new template or click edit to make any changes to an existing template. Then, within your template, you can scroll down to the Supplement Recommendations section. Here, you can click the red fast action button in the bottom right corner to add a supplement recommendation or click Add Another. Once you've added all the supplements you wish to recommend, you'll see the option to import this supplement into your client's medical history section when this protocol is published. You can choose to check this box or uncheck it next to any one of your supplements or if you'd like to import all of these into the client's medical history section, you can use this checkbox right at the top. Then you just need to save changes in the top right and save this template. Now, if we go back to our list of protocol templates and create a protocol for a client using these new supplement recommendations, we'll be able to see these listed in the client's medical history once we save and publish this. Underneath the medical history, you should see these supplements now listed and you can tell they're from this protocol by looking under the source column to see where they were created from. This concludes our video on the medication and supplement tracker. For more information, please check out our help center.